Okay, so this is a way of adding images from Amazon using the API feature. If you have an Amazon Associates account and you've made the qualifying sales, you should have access to the API tool, which will allow you to add images inside your blog post, even when Amazon have taken away the site stripe image feature that we all used to use. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that now. So first of all, go to your Amazon Associates dashboard and select the feature which is Product Advertising API. Once you land on this page, you'll see this is where your Amazon credentials are, where your access keys are, and you should have already got your secret key as well once you activated your Amazon Associates program. So down at the bottom of this page, you want to scroll down to where it says Scratchpad, and then you want to click in the left-hand side column, Get Items. And in here, by default, it will show up blank, and you're going to have to add these elements here. So first of all, your partner tag, that's your store ID. So if you go grab your store ID, you can find that in the top right of your Amazon Associates page. Enter that into the partner tag. Then we need to enter your access key. Enter that into the access key section. Then enter your secret key. Enter that. And those are the two you will set up and be given once. The first time you ever set up your Amazon Associates account, you need to keep that safe. You should have got those. So you enter your store ID, your access key and your secret key. Then we need to go find the item that you want to grab the image from. So simply go find an item. We've got here a child's car seat. Go find the ASIN number. It's usually at the bottom here. You can see there, ASIN. Let's grab that. Once you've entered the ASIN number, you then want to select what you want to be displayed in the image. I'll just select all, but you can select anything you want in there. You might just want the image itself with no other details on like the price and the ratings. You might just want the image. I'm gonna select everything and we'll pull it all through in one go. Hit run request. And you can see this is what the image box will now look like. Simply then grab the HTML code Go to the top right, click copy, then go to your blog post. Inside your blog post, search for HTML, drop the code that we've just grabbed in there, click preview, and there we go. There's your official Amazon product, which is biding by their terms and conditions. Now, obviously you can see that it doesn't look great. So you can play around with these settings here and you can get it to look as good as you want. For instance, if we just want the image, we could just have large image, select that, run request. And you can see here, we're just gonna have the image. Again, just grab the HTML code, go back to your article, select HTML, let's drop the code in. And there we go, we have the image without the price. Now, obviously this doesn't look as good as paying for a tool. We have popcorn theme installed on here. So you can see for that, we would go to patterns, we would grab a product box from here. Let's install that one. We would go to the picture here and we would delete that. Then we would add the HTML code into this section here. Click preview. And you can see this box certainly looks a lot better than that. And we've again abided by the terms and conditions that Amazon sets and we're using their tools exactly how they want us to do. Of course, there's other products out there like Lasso, Amalink Pro, and AWP that can also create these type of boxes that convert much better. But if you don't want to pay for any of those tools, you just want to grab an image in the correct manner using the API, the only way of doing that from December will be to use the scratch pad feature inside Amazon and use the API code. So I hope that's helped you out. Please subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and tutorials about blogging and building a niche website. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.